Near field, it's gone. Oh, she got it! Oh. Looking for a shot, gonna take it, and Nelson can hang on to it, and there's a goal. Good evening, everyone, and a welcome in for another round of Lady Bears Volleyball. Wrapping up region play, actually, here tonight. It is senior night here for Ridgeline. They come into this one with a record of 17 and 10. The Lady Bears, 6 and 22. Lady Bears coming off a loss against the Mustangs from last week. And we are joined with, as always, Amy Gibbs. Yeah, it's hard to believe this is the last region game tonight. So the RPI will be released tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock. Keep your eyes open for that. But in kind of a, you kind of got a disappointing vibe from the Mountain Crest game from Coach Jenna Brown. See if they can turn around from that one and come out and play hard against the defending 4A state champions. If we read that right on the wall. Yeah, well. I think it came down, didn't it come down to them in Skyview? Yes. That sounds right, right? Yes. Well, one of the years was Green Canyon and them. Correct. Because they also, so they're two-time, they're like back-to-back -back champions for volleyball. It says 21 to 22, 22, 23. Um, they're looking to be 23, 24. So yeah, I can't remember if it was Skyview which year and Green Canyon which year. So, but yes, um, as we just as you just saw, they honored three seniors. So that means Ridgeline only losing three, which are exceptional, but a uh, young team and they'll come back strong next year. So something to look forward to. Well, we will step aside here for the national anthem. Starting lineups. It's brought to you by West Liberty Foods. They're looking to hire all three shifts. They'll be a part of the uh, leading full pack or label manufacturer for sliced deli meats there at West Liberty Foods. So we'll step aside and be right back. Oh. 
So we're gonna like to thank you for your support by watching. Support of our many sponsors as well. Think of them throughout the ball game. We're ready to wrap up region play. We're looking at the region standings, and you've got at seven and two. You have Ridgeline, Skyview, and Green Canyon. <laughs> All tied for first. So I don't think we'll have a one. You'll have a co-region champion. Yes. Maybe a co-co. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty impressive. They all so pretty evenly matched um, with those top three as they've all played each other and and won and lost equal amounts. So it's kind of fun. So really, Lady Bears get an upset here. It's really gonna <laughs> shake things up a little bit. In that would be amazing. Region play. Bears gonna start off with a little bit of different uh, lineup. We've got Kazell, Garn, and then number 10, Mallory, front row. Nope, McDougal, front row. Kazell's back row with Adams and Eggley. And senior, number 25, serving for Ridgeline. Outside hit. Hit the antenna. And so set was just a little bit, little bit far. And number 25, Alyssa Anderson, going to UVU next year playing volleyball. Back row hit coming from Adams. Green Canyon gets it across. McDougal out to Gazelle again. Blocked. Ooh, trying to get that deep back corner. Goes a little bit wide, but nice effort by number 10. Anderson still with the set or still with the serve and the ace. Bear is able to get over but out of bounds. Having a little trouble serve receive tonight. Free ball sent over by Adams. Ridgeline sets it up to the outside. And Bears doing a great job with the block. Unfortunately, goes out of bounds. So right place, right time. Just need to adjust the arms a little bit. Close one there. 5-0 lead here for the Riverhawks. And another ace in the books for Anderson. Off the net hit, coming from Kazell. Ridgeline doing a middle. And that's coming from Addie Swanton. Now with that, Lady Bears are going to take the first time out here in set number one, trailing 7 to 0. Hit a Ridgeline. We'll take the uh, time out with them and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Whether you are buying or selling, you need to know you have someone in your corner who can help you get through that process. The Realtors at Coldwell Banker are there to help you get into your home, whether it's a starter or your forever. Back here to Ridgeline High School. Up at the timeout taken here by the Lady Bears. Trying to get into this one. 7-0 lead here for Ridgeline. Yeah, Bears having a rough start. Just need to take another breath. Ridgeline, home court, senior advantage. Or <laughs> home court advantage and senior night. Got them pretty excited. Great pass by Adams. 
Jocelyn tries to mix things up and dump it over. Ridgeline coming back with a hit. Back row hit coming from Adams. Oh. <laughs> Whatever um, works, right? Yeah, take what you can get. A back row hit coming, just kind of played around on the net and just dropped down. That, that's a tough one to read. Agley, number 24, coming in to serve. She's in the libero spot for Bear River. Outside hit coming from number six, Kendra Smith. With just a tip. Again, back row hit from Adams. Right side hit coming cross court. That's Abby Bodley. She's a junior coming in this game with 140 kills. And Kendra Smith dropping back to serve. One of the three seniors tonight. She's on the academic all-state volleyball team. Free ball sent over by Bear River. Another right side hit. Antenna. So Bears. Two points on the board. Journey Kapner checking in. As well as Paisley Barfus. Kapner with the serve. Ooh, middle hit. Nice dig coming from Adams. Off the net hit coming from Cazell. And a quick dump coming from Anderson. Anderson also coming into this game with 140 kills and 85 aces, which we know she's added yeah. to both of those <laughs> already. Great start to the game for her. Yes, in the middle blocker, number 40, Addie Swanton with the serve. And Cazelle getting a hit, getting a kill. So Bears making their way back. Cazelle with a serve. Right side hit and going right down the line. So Abby Bodley doing a great job getting past the blocker, hitting it down the line. Checking in, Lucy DeMooney. This DeMooney is just a sophomore. And it goes long. So 10 4 gap, Bearbird trailing. And junior middle blocker, Delaney Mallory. Ridgeline gets it up to the outside. Nice cross court hit. And oh, double hit coming from Bear River. Eleven to four here in set one. Right. So Anderson, both effective as a hitter and a setter. Back row hit coming from Kaepner. Oh, Bears doing a great job with that block. And Ridgeline blocks right back. Back row hit coming from Kaepner. Nice idea. I like mixing it up like that. Her hit just her hit just goes a little bit deep. Zay Ridgeline was playing up with all them blocks right there in a row. Right, that was a smart idea. Again, this is number 36, Katie Holland. Back row hit coming from Kazell. Outside, again to Anderson. Ooh, this one's tight to the net. And great play by Ridgeline. Being close to the line like that, they had to make sure they got it in, and they did. So straight down. Holland again with the surf. And she too goes deep. So Garn will check back in, and Duga will check back in. Kendra Smith, back row. Back row specialist, as well as, I think I missed the other one, seven in. So McDougal, DeMooney, keeping on Ridgeline's side. 
Adams off the net hit. Ooh. Great effort by Ridgeline. Free ball sent over. Short tip coming from back row, Cazell. Tight to the net and falls on Ridgeline side. Good effort by Smith, just not able to get there quite fast enough. Ten are going to be taken here by Ridgeline. Lady Bears able to cut in the lead, 13 to six. Second time out here in set number one. We'll take with them. Be right back. Find your next career at West Liberty Foods. Visit careers.wlfoods.com. Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Need something for your sweet tooth? Then stop by the grill for one of their tasty desserts. Pick up one of their delicious cakes or ice cream today. I got it here at Ridgeline. Hey, we like to thank the grill. And hey, when you come party with us, we're gonna have a watch a party for the Bears football game. Have a little bit different kind of feel. Come in, enjoy, or get some food there at the grill. Enjoy watching the Bears play the Spanish Fork Dons for the first round of the playoffs. Those are all my favorite things. Football, good food, and just enjoying it right there in town. McDougal going to start off with serve for the Bears. Ridgeline answering back with a hit. Sadie Adams will send in a tip over. Oh, partial Man. block. Nice dig out of the net, but Bears aren't able to get it back across. So Alyssa Anderson. And Libero, number 20. Oh, what number is she? 33. Free ball sent over by the Bears. Long. Her hair's too long, covering up the number. And free ball sent over by Ridgeline. McDougal gonna keep it here for Garn. She goes down the line. Number six. Mm. Getting that deep corner. Senior Kendra Smith. And I think it's number uh, 35. A junior in the libero spot, Kalani Talaki? Talaka? I don't know. Bears sent a free ball over. Demuni keeps it in the middle. Oh. And Swanton was thinking it was going to be a little higher. So Bears trailing 15 7. Senior Sadie Adams with the serve. Mooney to the outside. Nice off the net hit. Goes a little deep. So nice effort by Gazelle. Alyssa Anderson, senior, future Wolverine, with the serve. Speaking of UVU, that's where the playoffs will be held with the volleyball. McDougal sends it across, try to mix things up a little. And this one right on point. Nice hit by Addie Swanton. Bears getting a partial block, but still falls on Bear Riverside. Christian's then going to check in here for the Lady Bears. Ooh, and Anderson puts this one in the net. And Bear Rivers, Libero, number 24. Brooke Agley with the serve. Outside hit. Great job by the Bears with the block. Ooh. Anderson, little jump set. Just tips it over. Right in the campfire. Right in the campfire. The Lady Bears a little dose of their own medicine. We tried to do that a couple times here in set one. 
And Kendra Smith with the serve. Kazell, good pass. Garn hustles over. Trying to mix things up a little bit. Ridgeline sends a free ball over. Tight to the net. McDougal keeps it here. And middle blocker against middle blocker. And the kill with that one is Addie Swanson. Or Swanton. And the person happier the most is Talani there on the ridgeline side because I think that one was headed out when she played it. Yes. And ace for Smith. So Ridgeline with a comfortable lead, 21-8. McDougal sends it out to Kazell. And out of bounds. So checking in is number 23 for the Bears. London Hardy, back row. Another race over the River Hawks extends the lead 23-2-8. Bears catch a break there. Never too late for a comeback. Cape yeah. and Barfus checking in. Tight to the net. And great job by Mallory. Delaney Mallory's been awesome in the middle. I think she's really been extra strong in her attacks the last three or four games. Journey Capner again with the serve. And nice hit by number 11, Abby Bodley. Set point now here for the Riverhawks. In the lead 24 to 10. Yes. Ren Bingham, just a freshman, checking in for the Riverhawks. Swanton with the serve. And a nice spot right there for Barfus. Tried it a couple times, that, that time able to succeed. So 24-11. Kazell with the serve. Right to Bingham. Great dig. Oh, doesn't quite make yeah. it. Cardi does a good job backing up. Really, that's all she can do. Can't quite get it across. So that'll do it here for set number one, a 25-11 score. But almost. It's crazy than that. There. Again, your final set one. Ridge line 25, Bear River 11. We'll get set number two ready for you right after the commercial break. Let Trudy Hatch and Shannon Johnson help you get into the home of your dreams. They're your local experts for all your mortgage needs. Give them a call today. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Mountain Valley Printing is your one-stop print shop. They print on all apparel, as well as photo prints, copies, canvases, metal prints, banners, and more. Check out their Bear River High School merch shop for amazing swag. They even have fundraising opportunities. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits.
Miller Medical is ready to care for clients with full services for Family Medical. They also offer beauty and spa health treatments with hot stone and IV vitamin therapies, as well as Botox. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. JC's Country Diner is under new local management, but has the same great country charm so you can savor the flavor. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with mom and me classes. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School Senior Night here for the River Hawks. So they take set number one, 25 to, 25 to 11. Bears will start off serving with senior number 15, Jocelyn McDougall. Tamuni start off setting. Bears doing a good job, partial block. Outside to Adams, who just rips it down the line. So Bears coming out strong. This point of set number two going to the Lady Bears. McDougal, serve number two. Great hit by Anderson. And back row hit coming from Kazell. Outside hit. That's number six, Kendra Smith. Ridgeline ties it back up there with that kill. Abby Bodley checking in. Lefty Alyssa Anderson. Garn. Quick one to the middle and a little left hand swap. Coming from Addie Swanton. Blocking a left-hander on the net is a little tricky because you're used to lining up, kind of favoring the right the right hand because that's where most hits come from. Garn, another hit. Oh, Cazell, great save. Anderson again goes to Kendra Smith on the outside. She was leading the teams in kills prior to the beginning of this game. Off the net hit, good block coming from Ridgeline. Bears get it over and sent right back from Bodley. So Ridgeline with the lead, 4-1. Down the line, serve. 
Back row hit coming from Cazell, and that will find out back corner. That's what she's been looking for today. So Bears only trail by two. Sadie Anders or Sadie Adams back to serve, and it goes long. Katie Holland checking in for the front row. That's another thing to know. Lady or the Ridgeland River Hawks is a young team. Yes. Again, only three seniors. Man. Woo! There's Addie. a block from the juniors. Yes, Addie Swanton timed that perfectly and just sent that right back. Kendra Smith again with the serve. Eggly gets it up. Out to Kazell. She gets it over. And into the net. Bodley can't quite make it across. Mallory checking in. Mallory Garn Kazell, front row for the Bears. Carly Christensen with the serve. She too goes deep. Igley back in. And Swanton also puts it in the net. So a couple service errors by both teams. Keeping the set two a little bit closer. Difference is three points as Kaitner goes back to serve here for the Lady Bears. So Barfus, Cazell, and Mallory, front row. Anderson, tight to the net. Oh. And Bears will win that point. So, yeah, two point spread. Kaitner with the serve. Anderson to the middle. A great block by Mallory. Free ball sent over. Outside of Cazell. Nice tip. Oh, good effort, but Richline's not able to get that back up. So dig for Cazell. Or excuse me, kill for Dizelle. Gazelle. Cazell. <laughs> Cazell. Cazell the Gazelle. She gets them, or the Lady Bears, within one now. Partial block. Outside again to Cazell. And there's the wall. Can't bust it through that time. Yeah, you got Bingham and Bodley there, and Bears just couldn't get it past. So DeMooney with the serve for Ridgeline. Free ball, sent over by the Bears. Dimini going to the outside. And good hit by Katie Holland. I assume she's the younger sister to the other Dimini graduating. Yes. We've seen two or three very good Dimini athletes come through the system. They just hang in the air when they jump. Outside to Holland and Bears. Great adjustment right there. So a nice block and make sure they it lands in the court and it did. So Bears coming out confident in set number two. Cazell with the serve. Outside to Anderson. Into the net, Bears all within one. Free ball sent over by Ridgeline. A nice little swing play there by Mallory. Good talk between her and Barfus. Ties it up with that kill at nine here in set number two. Right, that's good communication right there. And she just sneaks around, makes the play. And Cazell's so excited. 
she hit. Slings it all the way to the back. Muni will check out now. Katie Holland with the serve. And the ace. Sends the lead back up 11 and 9 at the ridge line. Yep. Bears need to stay on their toes, stay mobile. Outside to Adams. And Ridgeline doing a great job at the block. So 12 9. Holland still serving. Back row hit coming from Agley. Anderson will keep it in the middle. Oh! <laughs> Adam's trying to uh, stir things up, and she does. Right in the campfire. Right in the campfire. Surge line's lead dwindles down to two. Oh. Mallory tries to dig that, goes to, into the bleachers instead. So three point spread. Libero number 35. Miss Kalani has the serve. Quick middle to Carly. Bridge line's ready. Tip coming back. Good dig. Carly with the hit and Ridgeline blocking. And again, you got your lefty setter right there trying to stir things up. A nice idea, just goes wide. Hardy and McDougal checking in. Or Garn and McDougal, excuse me. And Jocelyn will go back to serve here for the Lady Bears. Only trailing by two. Anderson will keep it in the middle. And a kill for Addie Swanton. Bodley checked in for Ridgeland. Anderson with the serve. Quick to the middle. Oh, that was almost like a dunk. <laughs> Kind of a little throw right there. Twenty-five again with the serve. Off the net hit coming from Garn. Bears dig that up. And Garn just a little bit low on that one. Ridge line pulling away, five point spread. Biggest lead of the set. Anderson with the serve. Bears send over, free ball. Anderson again gonna go to the middle. Carly got a block. Good hit. Outside again to Smith. Muscles it between the blockers and falls in bear territory. Seventeen eleven lead. Anderson still serving there for the River Hawks. Carly with an off the net hit goes deep. Eddie Bear's gonna shake things up. And the Gazelle will check out. Bear's gonna send in Chloe Earl for a back row. McDougal gives it to Adams. Good dig by McDougal. Garn shooting it across. Smith, cross court. So good play on both sides. Good saves, good hustle. 
The Lady Bears are going to take the time now. Closest set we've seen, but a 19-11 lead here for the Riverhawks. We'll lead us into commercial break. Be right back. Did you know Kent's Market has an app? And it's free! Just go to your app store and type in Kent's Market and it'll come right up. Downloading the Kent's Market app gives you access to digital coupons, weekly deals, and access to your Kent's Kickback account. As you can see, the app is easy to use and can help you save. Download it now and get exploring! We'll see you soon. Back at an area Ridgeline High School. Anderson still with a serve. Madugo able to get it up. Going on the far side. Unable to get it over, but more blocking here from Christensen. Garn now with the spike down. Kill. Yes, I love the aggressive net play right there. It's good blocking, good digging. And Bears come out with that point. Next up, Sadie Adams. Anderson going to keep it in the middle. A free ball sent over by the Bears. Back row hit coming from Adams. Smith making an adjustment. And Bears aren't able to make that playable, so 2012. Smith with the serve. Kazell sends it right back. Anderson keeps it on this side. Oh, and a whistle. Let's call the Lady Bears into the net. Yes, unfortunately. So 21 12. Smith still serving. Dougal, a quick one out there. A little, a little bit too much to the net. Yeah, that's a tough one. Because they're not able to do her approach and get there on time. Hardy checks in for the Lady Bears. 22 12. Lead here for Ridgeline. Garn going down the line. And cross court throw coming from Abby Bobby. Smith still serving. Garn going cross court. Anderson goes to the middle of her and Swanton. Finds the middle of their record. So 24-12. Adams checking back in. Again to Garn, going cross court. And a nice hit. From Katie Holland, that will end set number two. One more look at it here on the CNR replay game. I'd like to thank them for being a replay sponsor all season long. Closer set than the first. A ridge line. Going to take set number two. Stands our lead. Two sets to nothing. We'll have set number three when we come back. Coldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Coldwell Banker. If you are selling, give Gary Matson a call for a free market analysis today.
Dr. Todd Miller has expanded his team of medical professionals. Medical assistants, nurse practitioners, and estheticians at Miller Medical are ready to care for their clients with full services for family medical, pediatrics, beauty, and health. They also specialize in weight loss and hormone therapy. Miller Medical is now offering beauty and spa health treatments, as well as Botox. Most insurances are accepted, but a cash price discount is available. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. In Utah, we love our sports. At KSL, we live and breathe sports. Wherever the action is. Look who we found in Pasadena. We're there. Wherever you are, tune in. On air, online, and on the new KSL Sports app. We cover it all. From high school to pro. And the only radio team that's home to the Utah Jazz. KSL Sports Live and KSL Sports Zone. The one team that never stops tracking your teams. The culture at West Liberty Foods, it really is doing the right thing, even when people aren't watching you. Our principles are set based on a farmer mentality, and that's hardworking, that's community-based, um, and being good stewards of the land. It's, it's being loyal to your team, it's taking care of your team. I think as an organization, that's another thing that makes West Liberty Foods really successful, is that commitment to others. Find your next career at West Liberty Foods. Visit careers.wlfoods.com. Bear River Live is proud to bring you another production, Talk of the Town. These weekly episodes will bring local stories to life and keep you informed on what is happening in the community, as well as business spotlights and expert tips. The grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the grill has something for everyone. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. Getting ready for set number three. Ridgeline able to take one and two. And then a reminder, come join us at the grill for the watch party is forever. Travels out in Spanish Fork. Partners with KSL. They've got the broadcast for us, but we'll be broadcasting live from the grill at our watch party. Free soda bar with a purchase of some food. You might as well eat good while you're at the grill, right? Yeah. No, I think that's an excellent idea. I'm excited for that. Ridgeline will have the serve here to start. Set number three, and we'll start in the net. And the first point going to the Lady Bears. It's only happened twice there for Anderson. Right. Journey Kapner, she'll check in, serve. To be server number one for the Bears. Barfus Kazell, Mallory front row. Mallory partial block. Hands up out of bounds. So all tied up, 1-1. One, one. Senior number six, Kendra Smith with the serve. And the ace. Smith and Flammer, both academic all-state volleyball participants. Outside to Gazelle. Off the blockers. Oh, and Holland is blocked. And that left it wide open for Abby Bodley. So most of the defense was on this side of the court and the blockers, they were making them go end to end. That gave a lot of open space for Bodley. Kill with an exclamation point gives him the lead three to one. Barfus sends it across. Partial block. Barfus going to keep it to this side for Journey. Back row hit. Outside again to Holland. And she'll 
Get another kill in the books. Smith serving. Higley with a nice pass. Through the blockers. Oh, they said it hit the antenna. Yeah. Shoot. Yes, that's unfortunate. Smith still serving. And Ridgeline now with a five point lead. Six to one here in set number three, a timeout. Well, it should be a quick timeout here for Coach Brown and the Lady Bears. So we'll take a quick commercial break and be right back. JC's Country Diner is under new local management, but has the same great country charm so you can savor the flavor. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware happily serving the community since 1976. Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Let Trudy Hatch and Shannon Johnson help you get into the home of your dreams. They're your local experts for all your mortgage needs. Give them a call today. Okay, welcome back here to Ridgeline High School Senior Night here for the River Hawks. We got the lead here in set number three, six to one. Senior Kendra Smith still serving. And still racking up the points here for Ridgeline. Pizzell coming from the right side. Good block. Oh, call it a double oh, hit. Double hit, yeah. Yeah, nice block by Swanton. Smith still serving. Clipping the net. Checking in for the Bears, number 16, Haley Dressler. Outside to Kazell, she goes with the tip. Barfus trying to stir things up again. Great solo block by Mallory. Swanton's had a very successful night, but good read by Mallory sending that back. Shutting her down. Cazell with the serve. Anderson. With a quick dump over. Yes. Also trying to stir things up. Bingham checking in. Swanton with the serve. Back to Mallory, tight to the net. Free ball sent over by Ridgeline. Barfus back to Mallory, makes an adjustment. Anderson pushes it out to Holland and goes There's deep. Wrong. Seven point lead here for the River Hawks. Person should check him back in at the later Bears. Mallory dropped back for the serve. And not on the same page on the far side here for Ridgeline. So Bears working their way back. Mallory goes long. Mooney checking in to serve. Happy 
Carty makes an adjustment. Goes long. Nice idea. Mooney's still serving. Barfus keep it to the middle. And Christensen doing a great job, just pushing it down, falling on Ridgeline's side. Garnum and Dougal check it back in. Yeah, we don't we don't kick the volleyball. <laughs> we all know that's that's against the rules. Okay, McDougal serving for the Bears. Mooney pushes it to the outside, and there's your lefty hitter. Number 25, Alyssa Anderson. Number 31, Arissa Carter checking in, front row for the Bears. Kendra Smith. Oh, man. Yeah, good effort by the Bears. Just not able to get that up. So Katie Holland drops back to serve. Dugo goes to Christensen. Nice right side block. Good adjustment by the Bears. Smith sends it over. McDougal back row from Kazell. Outside to Smith. McDougal, a little quick dump. Nice play. McDougal quick to Christensen. Oh, there Beautiful. The Bears really came together. Good communication on that. Try to mix things up a little bit. Very effective. Sadie Adams with the serve. Demuni will keep it in the middle to Bingham. And she goes wide to the left. So 14-7. Adams put it into the net. Junior Libero, number 35. Kalani also puts it into the net. Back and forth now here in set number three. 15-8, your score. Senior Carly Christensen. And goes long. Bodley checking in, Agley checking in. Anderson back to serve. go back row hit coming from Adams. Well played, another kill in the books for her. Barbara's back in as well as Journey Caitlin. So Barfus, Mallory, Cazell front row. Adams, Agley, Kapner back row. Smith with the off the net hit. Oh. Catching it. Yes, well I can see her talking to Mallory. I was like, this is gonna be a short, quick set. And just Good. fell between her fingers. Smith will drop back to serve. Adams, good pass. And there's the Mallory play I think we were looking for last time. Good hustle by Adams. Oh, and Agley's not able to get it across. So good effort by the Bears. 18-9, Bears trailing. 
Smith still serving. Out to Gazelle. And Bears get that point. Going cross court. Ridgeline's not able to make it playable. Gazelle with a serve. Anderson goes back to the middle. And her and Swanton. Swan with a serve. Kapner looking for that back corner. Anderson goes to Bingham. And again, goes wide. Junior middle blocker. Mallory with a serve. Off the net hit. Bears able to dig it up. Adams, nice idea. Trying to go down the line. Just a little too long. Demuni checking in to serve and set. Back row hit coming from Kazell. Outside to Holland, the Bears shut her down. Barfus will go middle again. Richline's ready. Bears get a free ball sent over. And Mooney back sets to the lefty. So Anderson has no blockers there and just puts it down. 21-11. Mooney again with the serve. Bears send it right back. Holland with an off the net hit. And this one goes a little deep. Gonna McDougal is gonna make any lady bears trying to get back into this one. 21-12, set number three. Jocelyn with the serve. Dominio stays in the middle with Bingham, and she goes deep. McDougal again with a serve. Off the net hit, good adjustment. Kazell back row hit. And Anderson, nice dig by Egley. Another good dig by Cazell. And very well placed hit by Adams. She did a good job reading the floor on that one. Just up and over the defense. Just right in that gap. 21-14. McDougal again with a serve. He's trying to push it out to Anderson. Back row hit coming from Kazell. She wants that one back. Nice idea. It just wasn't high enough. So 22-14. Holland with the serve. Free ball sent over. Dimuni will keep it to the middle. Oh, again going for that back corner and just goes a little too far. So 23-14, Holland with a serve. And she too goes long. Flammer checking in, the 
senior number three. Adams with the serve. Hit. Yes, Bears get it up, but they're just too far back. Match pointer for Ridgeline. Marley Tisdell checking in. Polani will be back to serve here for Ridgeline. Good pass. Oh, great idea by McDougal. This isn't crossing out. And that will do it. That was a good read, though, because they were all ready for that pass to the middle. They were. She could see an open spot there. Again, she was just trying to keep it sharp to the net, and it just dropped below. Well, set number three going to go to Ridgeline 25-15. And that's going to be your final. Here on Senior Night for the Ridgeline River Hawks. It'll be interesting to see how the other schools pan out. If you had a, because Skyview was playing Mountain Crest, Logan playing Green Canyon, the other top three teams tied for first. And they're going to get the share of it. Yep, they're one third. <laughs> but again, we we're in a tough region, so it's kind of fun to see it kind of even out like that, at least in the top three. You bring up tough region, you get you ready for playoffs. Now the playoff has expanded. You say the classification has expanded, so now you know tomorrow, ten o'clock, the bracket comes out. So we line up with somebody that has no clue about us. Right. You still have a region 10, and you still have a region 8, and then region 9, St. George. But. Yeah, so fun's always state for that, or state is always fun for that re reason. I mean, it will be at UVU. You can follow along with kslsports.com. Speaking of kslsports.com, they will have the coverage of the football game, but we will re say rebroadcast. So we'll be broadcasting live with the game as well. They're at the grill. And one more reminder for you, our watch party at the grill. Come in, enjoy some food. We'll have the game on the TVs. Right, and you order some to eat and free drinks. Free drinks. What more could you ask for? A Berber win. How about that? Oh, that would be awesome. Winner of that game will take on Skyview. Oh. For the next week over, so. Which would be great for the Bears, because last time those two met up, that was a. That was a close one. Wonderful. Was that like 23-24? Yeah. Yes, that was a fantastic game. So we would love to, I know the Bears would love to play that game again, and if they can win this first one, they'll get the opportunity to. But again, don't forget that. The game starts at 6. It's a little earlier than usual. A little earlier than usual. If you can't make it all the way down to Spanish Fork. You can certainly make it out for dinner. Come enjoy the dinner there at the grill with Bear River Live. This wraps up our coverage here for Lady Bears Volleyball, though. Sad to see that come to an end. It went by fast. It did. Seems like a short season. But these are the sponsors you got to thank for bringing you volleyball, Lady Bears volleyball coverage. I'd like to thank Caldwell Banker, cover it, Bears Duke Best Harbor, West Liberty Food, CNR for your replays, Lincoln Financial, Red Funeral Homes, Miller Medical, Dr. Todd Miller, and KSLSports.com. You could be watching this game on kslsports.com. I'd like to thank New Course Steel, Jaycee's Country Diner, Great Basin Industrial, Frank May Skidoo, Chancellor Sod Farms, Academy Mortgage, Kent's Market, Tinkwood Studio, last but not least, The Grill, which that's where we'll be Friday. That's right, put on your calendar. If you can't make it out, 
to Spanish Fork, which traffic was kind of crazy at Salem Hills last week. But Fridays are a little tricky, that's for sure. And you know what? We know the Bear River fans are very good travelers. Yes. But if you're not able to go down, if that's not going to work for you, then another great option is head it over to the grill. So well, we will wrap it up with this one again. Thanks, Amy, for all your help all season long here for Lady Rares Volleyball. Basketball, not that far away. Around the corner. Again, I like to wish Lady Bears good luck the rest of the way. RPI comes out 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Let's see where everybody lines up there in the bracket. As far as this one goes, the Ridgeline River Hawks is going to sweep the Lady Bears 3 to 0. And we will see you Friday night. The party at the grill with Bear Belive. Thank <laughs> you.